Hi, I'm Larry Wilcher, Vice President of Salt River Long Rifles. We're at our annual Early Kentucky Market Fair, second weekend in December. We do this for uh, people can buy gifts for their 18th century reenactors. We have over 100, we have 115 tables here. We have over 40 vendors, some of the best quality stuff you can find in the country. We've had several hundred people through the door in the last two days. Uh, we hope that everybody gets to come down and see it. If you haven't never heard of it or, or come to the show, you'd be highly impressed to see it. You can visit our website and learn more about the show. It's at www.saltriverlongrifles.org. Hope to see you there. And have a day. show today. Lots of good people here. Our company is called the Black Heart Traders. Uh, my name is Charles Wong from Union, Kentucky. Uh, this is one of my knives that I make. It's a hand forged uh, rifleman's knife. It has a uh, deer leg bone handle. The blade is uh, made out of 1084 carbon steel. A Sioux Tang and a cross guard. This will be a knife that the rifleman carried back in the 1700s uh, with a sheath similar to this. It would be uh, put in the sash or about. It was used for all kinds of uh, tool as well as a fighting knife. And other styles of knives I have here are uh, hunters, patch knives, all hand <laughs> Uh, my name is William Smith. I'm from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I make pre-1840 haversacks, shooting bags, with materials that would only been available in that time period. All my stuff is hand-sewn with wax linen. All my bags have hand-forged buckles on them, hand-forged rings, the straps are dyed in long holes. Uh, you might ask, what is a haversack? Haversack is what the troops would have carried or your long hunters at least had two to three days worth of food supplies and anything they needed that they carried in. This is a, one of my haversacks. This is hemp dyed in walnut holes. Uh, I have various numbers of uh, shooting bags back here. This is one of my most popular ones. This is called a double shooting bag, which is the most popular one. It has a pocket on the front where you put stuff in. It has a large pouch in here to put stuff in, a large pouch and stuff here to put the things in. Completely all hands on, 100% made in the U.S. by a U.S. citizen. Uh, it also has hand forged rings, it has hand forged buckles. And if you look real close, you can see that it's cross stitched. Not very many people uh, do any cross stitching. I'm the only one at the present time I know that does any cross stitching on their bags. So if you'll notice, the contour of this pocket, the contour of the entrance of this pouch, all are in the same form there. And it's all cross-stitched with 100% wax linen that was available to the pioneers at that time. There was no nylon thread at that time. There was no saw machines at that time. This product is all handmade, all hand sewn. My name's Carl King. I'm from Dry Ridge Blacksmith Shop. <coughs> what I have brought to the trade fair is a large assortment of iron work for the living history or pioneer reenactment. Okay. We've got cooking tools, we've got hooks, knives, forks, spoons, spatulas, all the things that they might need in a daily camp life made of iron. My name is Tracy Garland and I'm playing the whistle, often called the penny whistle, and the song I'm going to play is the swallowtail jig.
ossifrator, and this my son Ricky and I, we sold pouches a lot. We uh, sold many different styles. This is a beaver tail. It's lined with ticking, and the strap is uh, also lined. It's sewed uh, about one uh, one inch, about six six threads per inch, and it serves as a hunting pouch or a small possible bag. And we make other things over there that we see on the table for our film. Uh, most of our work we make uh, bags out of leather, all kind of leather. This is steer hide here. We sell these. This particular one is $125. It'll last a lifetime. If you are a reenactor or just have a reenactor on your Christmas list, as you can see, the early Kentucky Market Fair is the place to go for those hard to find but needed items. For more information, you can log on to www.saltriverlongrifles.org for more information.